Hello and welcome back to another episode of Week in Geek. I'm your host Dean Abdu and I'll be bringing you some of the top geeky news stories rolled into a nice little morsel for you to just chomp down on and fill your geeky tummies. We've got the very best news to share with fans of Rick and Morty and we've also had our first official look at the new Predator film and much much more so stick around. This week's episode is brought to you yet again by Geek Bomb's Pundaware store where you can get yourself a load of swanky gear whilst also repping some hilarious puns. But with all that said and done here's this week's top stories. After wondering what the future would hold for Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon's Rick and Morty, Adult Swim is ready to move forward with it in a huge way. According to THR, the network just ordered 70 more episodes. This whole thing is described as a long-term deal and now the creative team will finally get to start working on season 4 and beyond. The report goes on to say that the extent of this new pact is quite unexpected. Should Roiland and Harmon maintain anything close to their current production schedule, this will keep the show on the air for as long as another decade. Daredevil and the Defenders showrunner Lauren S. H. has revealed that other writers joining her on the new Netflix series adaptation of The Witcher. Jessica Jones veteran Jenny Klein, Daredevil's snare her course, I'm very sorry if I said that wrong, and Declan D. Barra who worked on the originals. The series itself aims to be based on the original series of novels, with eight of the novels serving as the main inspiration for the new series. Now fans across the world just have to sit patiently waiting for some casting news and an official release date. The first official teaser trailer for The Predator was released on Thursday and we get to see the familiar hideous alien species continue the hunt which first started back in 1987. Did you see anything unusual? Like an alien, you mean? There's a few obvious changes to this reboot, the biggest one being that it's now in a city rather than a jungle, which I'm pretty sure they did once before and it didn't really work, but we'll see how it turns out. The coolest feel-good news of the week is that Blizzard has kicked off a limited-time Overwatch event to help fund breast cancer research. The centerpiece of the effort is a Pink Mercy skin available for $15, with 100% of proceedings going to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Blizzard has committed to a guaranteed minimum donation of $250,000 and it will update players with a final tally if it surpasses that amount. The Pink Mercy skin will be available all the way through to May 21st. So that's all for this week. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the Predator teaser and a big thank you to Plunderware for being this week's sponsor. They pun smash fandoms all across the galaxy from Star Wars to Nintendo, from Dungeons and Dragons to Marvel, from Game of Thrones to Back to the Future. They also carry exclusive designs from Geek Bomb's Fungeons and Flagons series and exclusive Smallcast merch. So head on over to plunderware.net to get some of your punny gear. I'm Dean Abdu and I'll see you next week for another episode of Week in Geek. Bye!